How to submit consolidated invoice in my Envoi portal. First, click on New Document. In this video, we'll select invoice as the type of document. Click Start. The invoice code will be generated automatically, or you can enter your own. Date and time are also filled in by default, but you can backdate up to three days. Turn this on if you'd like to receive notifications. For a consolidated e-invoice, select VRN as the ID type and enter not available. For tax identification number, key in the I9010, which is the TIN for buyers in consolidated e-invoice, then click validate. Since this is a general TIN, enter general public as the name. You can fill the remaining fields with an A. Click Continue. Next, click Add Line to add an item. Choose 004 for the classification code. In the description, enter the invoice numbers issued that month, which haven't been submitted as standard e-invoices. For example, we'll use 00120050. If you're still using handwritten invoices or spreadsheets to record sales, make sure you sort them properly and don't resubmit any invoice that was already submitted as a standard e-invoice. Good news is that during relaxation period, there's no restrictions on the description, so you can even write June 2025 sales. Enter the item quantity and unit of measurement. There are over 2,000 options. Add the unit price and include any discounts, fee charges, or tax info if applicable. In this example, we'll select NA for the tax type. Click Add. Repeat this process if you have more items to add. Click Continue. On page 4, you can add optional details like shipping or import export info. Click Continue. Page 5 shows a summary. Once you've reviewed and confirmed everything is correct, click Sign and Submit Document. The process of submitting invoice on my Envoi portal can be quite repetitive, as you need to enter your info like IC number and password each time. It's a bit tiring, haha. <laughs> Tick the box to declare the document as true, complete, and correct. Once submitted, you can click the reference number, or go to the document section to view it. It will show valid if successful. That's it, you're done, bye! Save time by streamlining your accounting process now.